what it has demanded of all of us is something that you talk about all the time in, in the retreat container, which is um, being hyper alert. Right. So not only are we being hyper alert about the things that we're normally hyper alert about, but we're also having to be hyper alert about stuff we don't know fuck all about, you know, like uh, protocols for, you know, cleaning yourself and your mask and all that other stuff. And, and I'm sure I'm, I'm doing it all wrong. And I have some anxiety about that, you know, I say, well, I guess you're supposed to like take off all your clothes before you walk in your front door and leave them in a pile and burn them if you want to be safe and then don't right. talk to anybody just go right, right into a shower and stand in scalding water for 45 minutes and then maybe you'll be clean and so we're all dealing with with anxiety on a certain level um now what does anxiety do to the body aside from bathing you in cortisol and adrenaline it starts to lock you up right so just doing some very simple basic breathing exercise and i know people are going oh god breathing again. oh my god he's going to tell me to breathe again no no not that barry <laughs> no because just telling somebody to breathe is about as helpful as telling somebody to relax nobody right. in the entire history of the world has ever relaxed when somebody just says <laughs> hey, why don't you just relax just relax right. just relax well, and breathe I, if i can like punch you in the face first yeah maybe i'll relax a little bit but because you told me to relax, but that doesn't really work. And, and when we do breathe, most of us have limitations around our breathing from our earlier life, because when you breathe, you feel. And the more you breathe, the more <sighs> you feel. Which is why a lot of us hold our breath. Yes. Because feeling is so scary and yeah. painful, and we're not supported to actually feel our feelings. No one's actually holding us or caring for us or soothing us. And so we... <gasps> right. And we lock up. And we lock and up. And, and, and what that does is it, it makes the body give the brain the message that things are not okay. Right. Nothing is okay when you're, right. when you're like that. There's no way you're going to feel okay. So even though I can't touch you right now, Pamela, you have my eyes, you have my focus, you have my attention. And that is how I can support you in this moment. And if you're willing, if you're willing to let your body breathe i mean i usually do this exercise you know standing up i would mm -hmm. stand up and we would do some grounding and some breathing but with my help how would it feel for you to take whatever feels like a full breath for you you know just a and so i'm going to invite everyone um even though barry is focused on me right now you can also like imagine that he's focused on you Yes, well, I, I, I'm holding you all. Right well, he's here. holding us all in this space. Right here. Right, here. right there. And he's got big arms. And so, can you say what the invitation is again, Barry? Right. I'm, I'm going to invite you to take whatever feels like you, a, 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 like a full mm -hmm. breath. Okay. To you. And we're going to do it fairly slowly. Okay. We're going to hold the breath at the top. You know, we take a full breath. Okay. And hold it for a second. And then when you let it out, at least for this breath, feel like you're blowing out a candle. And keep on blowing until all the air is out of your body. There's a lot more in there than we leave. You just keep on blowing it out, blowing it out, blowing it out. And when all the air is out, hold for another second. And then try that nice big inhale again. And hold right at the top of the breath. And let it out now with a hiss. A like you're squeezing toothpaste out of a tube until there's none left. 
Yes. And then let yourself just take a normal breath for a second. Yeah. Let you. <sighs> so I don't think we have the time to go into the science of it, but there's real solid science behind this. So this may seem like really so noticing my arms are moving. Mm -hmm. Now that's not like me trying to be dramatic for the people who are watching here, but I will even be quite honest that my genitals are now awake. Uh -huh. um, all of me is my, my, my chest feels more open. My arms feel like they can move a little better. And like my, in my whole body, mm -hmm. um, you know, kind of even wants to make me um, touch my legs and mm -hmm. um, just the clearing all the way up and then all the way. I like using my hands, by the way, folks, when we're doing these exercises. I know. But it's like when I'm when you're taking the breath in, if you use your hands to like mirror your breath, mm -hmm. and then the same thing when you're taking it down and out, mm -hmm. it helps me embody. Yes. Um, even more. And what I'm so interested in is like that simple little exercise that I don't know how you all are doing out there in the audience watching and participating with us. That simple little exercise cleared an energetic flow in my body. Right. And what that, that exercise, that simple exercise is a portal to a deeper embodied experience. We build on that simple breath. We actually work with the breath. We work with sensation in the body. We wake up everything. We don't we don't right. leave pieces behind. Right. Breathing becomes an embodied process. Right. So many of us are walking around right now. We, you know, we use the phrase scared out of our wits. We're right. scared out of our bodies. We We're scared. Of Say that again. I think everyone really needs to hear that. We're scared. We're, we're scared out of our bodies. We are literally scared out of our bodies. And we have lots of reasons yes. right now to be scared out of our bodies. And so even what, what's so challenging is now more than ever, we need more than talk. We need people holding us and reaching through the glass. Yes. To support us in embodiment activities so that we can come back to our bodies. So that was one exercise. I'm, I'm really like kind of pushing you, Barry. Mm -hmm. You have another little exercise that we might be able to do for the nice people who are watching and who might want to do it with us? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I just, I just want to say that erotic core, as, as I'm mm -hmm. calling it, is, is a wonderfully um, structured process. And as good as it is for in-person work, it does work online. So you, you can feel a result in your body as, as you're doing right now, Pamela. It's like, geez, you know, I, I feel that movement of energy. I feel that connection. Anytime you're invited to... <laughs> I feel turned on. And yeah. all we did was, um, and you know, and, I'm, and, and folks don't say, well, you're Pamela Madsen, you're an easy mark. Well, you you're know, Pamela we, Madsen, you're an easy mark. You know, <laughs> don't say that. Um, it, I'm, I play my instrument and I've been practicing and but you all can feel levels of what I honest to God felt in my body. And that was just in a minute. So imagine if you had an hour or 90 minutes of this work um, through the glass virtually, um, what you might be able to do. And I know that what we want, Barry, so much is to be able to to touch our, our clients and and, and be with them, but this is actually something that is working and that's something we're really developing so that we can support our, our um, tribe of humans. So let's talk about another kind of somatic um, experience that we could have online. Okay. Another so, taste. These are just little tastes, people. Yes, they are. Thank you for saying that because this is a much larger process and it, it's part of the expansion 
the back to the body offers. Yeah. So to put a little frame around this next one, one, one of the one of the um, sort of bedrock principles of energetic work, uh, revolve around revolves around the words no and yes. And okay. What what we say is that in order to fully have your yes, you first have to be able to have your no. And most of us are denied that in this life. I mean, as a kid, what good does saying no do? You know, they're bigger than we are and they're stronger. And if, you know, you don't want to do something or you don't want to eat something or you don't want to hug your smelly uncle. Um, right. You, you still might, have to. Right. right. You might, you're forced to. Right. So your no gets run over. And, and, and not to bring the politics of what's going on in our country in, but just for a minute. I mean, we've been watching, um, we've been watching men and women being killed when they say they're no. Yeah. You know, and, and like in real time. When they say they're no, it's been denied and then, you know. And then they're punished for it. And then they're punished for it or killed. Uh -huh. and, yeah, for and we all have a piece of that. We all hold the piece of that. Right, and we all hold the piece of that, and just somatically in our bodies, mm -hmm. it lives in our bodies. So, uh, this little exercise is about really having your no. Now, we're not going to do it full out, or because we don't have the time and we don't have the space. Normally, uh, we would do this standing. You got to kind of be on your feet for this. But I want people to, I want people to see. Hey, great, you rock. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm working it. Let's see what we can do here. Okay. Um, so that I can be st okay. So I'm standing now. Okay. So instead of your feet being parallel like this, you'll put one in front of the other because what we're going to do is we're going to start on the back foot, and we're going to push really hard with our hands and we're going to say no 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 everyone doing that with me you all doing that with me we're standing up i hope and let's all like go no okay so it's no 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 no. No to whatever it is. To whatever it is. Yeah. No. No. You get your no. You, we get our no. Okay, you I've get, got it. Get your no. We and, get our no. And and this is the first of a series of mm -hmm. exercises that frees the whole body, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. including and it doesn't leave the genitals behind. No. <laughs> well, well, a lot of us have a no in our genitals. Right. There's a there's a big no. So we're gonna, I'm going to just skip a whole bunch of stuff and go to the last exercise in this series. Okay. Where, where, and, and if you, you're all going to do this with me, that would be great, where you get to hold your package. Okay. We don't see your face, though. That's okay. All right. We're all holding our package. It's not my most okay. attractive feature. <laughs> and we're okay. gonna, we're, the, the pelvis is going to move forward okay. like that, and we get to say, mine. 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 Not yours. Mine. Not yours. Mine. 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 What are we doing with our legs? Feel them. Feel them, baby. Mine. Right. Mine. Mine. Yeah. Mine. Got it. Oh, you have to with us? Yeah, I think they're, they're they're either doing it with this or they're totally appalled. I don't know which, but hopefully they they they're yes. they're doing you know we may be scrolling down people's um, <laughs> feet right now and they're like holy Toledo, what's happening on Pamela's timeline? You know what's but true? Pamela, I, Pamela, how did that feel? Felt great and empowered, and I think you know what happens so much, Barry, is that our genitals don't get listened to. So it's like, we don't even ask our genitals if they want to come to the party, right? We just sort of serve them up. They're, you know, we feel like, um, sometimes when I'm coaching with women, they'll say, well, I feel like I owe my so partner. Is, I so owe my partner. 
Right. So who does who does your genitals belong to? Does it belong to your partner? Does it belong to you? That so, so many times our genitals are taken from. They're just taken from. I mean, you know, I mean, you know, we have the famous quote from, you know, number 45, all I have to do is grab it. Mm -hmm. I, I just can grab a pussy, right? So like taking from genitals doesn't even give our genitals a chance. Right. And how, to, many, to speak. how many people are shamed as children? You right. Know, oh, don't touch that. That's right. dirty. You don't right. do that. The, the, for religious reasons or for personal reasons or your caregivers are all hung up about something. Exactly. And, and, and that's another way that our genitals get taken from us. Right. And I just, I just turned on my phone because I wanted to, I, I wanted to, I had to silence it. Um, I, I'm, 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 I'm blowing it here. Go away, phone. I wanted to see if I could read the comments, but it just made noise. Um, we'll have to go back to the comments. Okay. And, and so, you know, understanding that we don't get to claim, we often don't get to claim or own or feel mine around that. And that there are somatic exercises that we can do to reclaim our pleasure, to reclaim our own selves. Mm -hmm. And we can also do it through pleasure. So here's, and so, part, of that. here's part of that, Pamela. I'm sorry to, to no, jump No, please, on that. please, just, jump, jump, jump. Um, in that last exercise that we did, the mind exercise, mm -hmm. one of the ways that we try to keep our genitals and our genital identity is through contraction. It's yeah. like somebody's trying to pull something, take something away from you. What do you do? You pull back. Right. right? No, it's mine. It's mine. Don't take it away from me. Right. The, the, so I, I'm, I do exercise, uh, energetic exercises, like with a towel, a tug of war, so mm -hmm. that, so that the, the client can really feel what that feels like and be able to pull back. Right. But in our bodies, we do the same thing. We contract, right? And you, it, we contract the whole pelvic floor. We contract our genitals. We contract our butts. We're holding everything. Now, how can energy flow through contracted muscles? It well, can't. it can't. And then we say um, to to um, female bodies, surrender, open, surrender. And what's true is that we can't. Well, the body's just it, like, right. We we can't if our bodies are clenched. Right. We can't if we're feeling a sense of hypervigilance, mm -hmm. if we're not feeling safe. And so what these containers and what we're trying to provide, obviously in person, but now virtually online, is these safe containers where where women can feel their contractions and then feel what it feels like. Because we don't even know we're contracting. Right. It becomes part of the wallpaper. Exactly. It becomes part of the wallpaper. And then we're read, we, we read about how we're supposed to, you know, open and surrender and ejaculate in rainbow colors. And there's just no way when we're living in a state of clench. And the world right now has, if we weren't in clench before, oh, we're we in, are now. We are now. And yeah. if you're wanting to... You, and what I guess the invitation that Barry and I have is you don't have to be in clench now. That we can be, we, this work is available now. That you can be aware of the clench and all of these um, feelings in our bodies. And um, work on feeling better now. And that, the, and that there are all these incredible techniques that are available um, do you want to say a little bit more about the work, Barry? Or, or do you want to do one more exercise? Well, what I want to say is that this is not just a great adjunct to uh, table work. It's great preparation. Absolutely. It's, mm -hmm. it's all about finding your voice. It's about right. feeling the flow of energy in your body, when you have more access to your own erotic energy, which is your life energy, remember it's just all one energy and it's mm -hmm. all connected. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you have freer access to that and there's greater flow in your body, it's so much 
easier for you to access your erotic energy, for it to flow through your body, for you to access erotic trance states, for you to blow through your pleasure ceilings, because what is your pleasure ceiling actually? It's in your body. It is these muscular contractions that are holding down your energy. They're, they're cheating you out of your inheritance. Wow. In wow. That's really, you know, extraordinary, isn't it? That it is. Cheating you out of your inheritance. Mm -hmm. You're being robbed. You're being robbed. Yeah. And you don't have to be. <sighs> yeah. And you don't have to be. And this work is accessible. It is. And, and it's available. And, um, and next Friday on June 25th, we're going to be bringing all the parts together. We're going to be bringing the whole back to the body team. This is my pitch, people. Are you ready for the pitch? On June 25th, we're going to bring all the parts together. We're bringing the entire team of back to the body together and we're going to be doing workshops and we're not going to just be talking at you you are going to be doing these exercises through breath and sound and movement, movement. and we're also going to be doing um demonstrations of full-on demonstrations like half hour 25 minute demonstrations that you'll be able to work with around this work around how you participate in sexological body work online, even around fantasy play and liberation of our language, what might be called dirty talk, but I prefer to talk, call it liberated language. And I believe I like you like dirty talk. <laughs> I just, you know, um, and I believe Christy actually has already posted um, the links. Thank you, Christy. Um, and we'll put some more up. And we, we really hope that next Friday you'll join us for three hours. Um, I think we're starting at 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. We're going to 9. And it's going to be really packed. And we really want to invite folks in. And we don't want to just talk to you. Because how many people are just, we're like zoomed out with talking heads. Um, we want for you to be embodied with us online. Does that, yes, am I saying it, Barry? Yes, absolutely. We, we need right now, all of us, to be as embodied as we can possibly be. Yes. So I'm going to stop this, but where I did a naughty thing was I didn't hit record in the very beginning. And so I just want to say this is Barry Call. And I'm Pamela Madsen, and we've been talking about, go ahead, Barry, give the intro again. We've been talking about? The combination of principles of core energetics combined with sexological body work into what I have called now erotic core, yeah. which is the, the wonderful kind of kludge of, of these two modalities into something that expands and potentiates the work. And it's something that Barry is going to be offering live at our retreats yep. and is something that he's also offering to our everyday community, which is our new virtual immersion community um, that is ongoing and it's for everybody. It's for, well, everybody, if you identify as a woman, sorry, not every everybody, but if you identify as a woman. And um, we're going to be having a special event all around all this stuff that you all can take advantage of. So join us next Friday, June 25th. Grab a ticket, be with us, and um, come be sexy with us because it's we did some really kind of big stuff here, but it can also be, um, you know, very directive and very sexy too. Right, Barry? Right. <laughs> and you'll get a taste of that too. Mm. All right. Mm -hmm. So thank you, everybody. And thank you. Thank you, Barry, for joining. You, and we will be doing, um, we will be doing this again. And, um, again. and again. And again. And again. So I'm going to um, stop the recording because I did record some of this.